The purpose of this video clip is to make you aware of the features that PowerPoint has to offer for equations, writing equations. So you go on insert, click equation and this ribbon shows up and simultaneously you will see this thing, uh, this little dialog box or uh, text box or equation box that comes up. So let's see if I have to write a vector f equals xi plus yj plus zk. Now as such it doesn't look anywhere near what we have seen in a textbook so in my lecture file but you can improve upon it so you can highlight relevant portions. So I'll start with f, go back to home, bold, unitalicize it. Likewise for i, it has to be bold but not italics. Remember vectors are not italicized but they are bold and that other variable scalars are italicized and not bold. And now if I wanted to change the size I'll just go with different box size and here's my equation xi plus yj plus zk which looks all the bit professional as needed. And again if, if you try to compress it and it doesn't become smaller as you want it to be just be aware that you need to change the font size through here. Now what if you wanted to write the magnitude of f? So let's try to see how to do that. So we go for insert or design button which is open here. We can choose to write an equation. Let's say insert again uh, another equation. Well it just came up here so I'll have to redo that. Uh, so let's try again equation. So here's another equation that came up. Uh, equation box and now I'm going to write magnitude. But for magnitude the easiest way to do that is to choose one of these uh, options here and let's see what options we have. So one of them is this which is not helpful, not helpful. Uh, there is this existing one but maybe we can use this because we will need square root in there. But I'm trying to see if I can find one for magnitudes and that would be through brackets. So once I choose brackets, I can choose this guy and just copy this maybe. Control C. So try to not do more work uh, than necessary and say equals then square root and for square root we have this radical and then you can type in x square but for square again uh, you need to have something different which is like this so it's x square and then plus as you can see the radical sign uh, copies itself so we can do this again y square plus z square so there we have it x square plus y square plus z square and again go back to home increase the font size as needs be and there it looks just as decent as in textbook x square plus y square plus z square and if this was f sub x f sub y f sub z you can also do that so let me just show how to do those things so we'll write f here and then go for font subscript say okay oops let's try this so, okay here's the subscript so you have to choose this guy and then type f x like this and then once you have done done with one control c control v so as i was saying in the previous file so we can go with control c control v and then change this to f sub y uh, control c again control v make this z and then likewise you can do the same here uh, just copy this guy here control c from there and you can always resize them. And if they don't seem to resize, we go back, 
go back to home there and then again you can just scale them around a little bit let's suppose 32 but then you can stretch it and then things should get a little better there we go so play around with these things and you get the idea of how the equations can be written likewise for cross products if you want to write r cross f uh, you could just say r but as you can see this r does it look too perfect but that's okay we can say insert uh, equation and then see the multiplication sign here use that so it appears as r cross f and maybe r this is a better r than the previous one and and then you can have x i plus y j plus z k put the parentheses use the cross symbol and all those things so if you need to show some calculations uh, for example, if you had to define moment, it's defined as R cross F, but here's how you write R cross F in PowerPoint uh, presentation using the equation feature. And for other details, please email me. I'd be happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one and show uh, or help you circumvent any problems that you may have or show some way to address the concerns uh, to improve your PowerPoint presentation appearance.